I'm Andre, a solution engineer at PDFtron. In this video, we're going to go over how to add review and approval to your videos inside React app. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be embedding this package, npm package right here. And to kind of help us get started quicker, we can actually reference web your React sample, which we're going to build on top of. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about React or go in depth, how this particular sample is working, you can actually watch uh, the video that I recorded earlier, and I'll post the links in the description. Check it out. Uh, but here, if you just follow along, uh, you should be fine. So let's go ahead and download, go ahead and unzip it, and then open it in your favorite code editor. Okay, so let's pop our terminal open like this, and let's actually install all the necessary dependencies for this example. Awesome. There's one thing that I want to mention is that uh, in the package.json, let's make sure that we actually have the latest version of web your um, UI. So let's ensure that in the dependencies at pdfcon slash web your, we actually have version 7.1 installed. Okay, perfect. And then let's go ahead and run this example to ensure that uh, everything loaded up correctly, and we can double check that we have the right version of the web viewer up and running. Excellent. So the web viewer um, loaded up correctly, and now to get the version of the web viewer, uh, we can just kind of go ahead in the console, give it a refresh, and we're actually going to get a printout. Ah, yes, perfect, right here. So we're getting the version 7.1, and this is the minimum version we need for web viewer video 3.0. Instead of opening PDFs, office, or images, we're going to go ahead and open uh, some videos and place some annotations on top of it. Now to do that, let's go ahead and switch back to uh, the Visual Studio, uh, stop our development server, and install npm i at uh, pdftron slash web viewer video. Perfect. So it installed all the necessary dependencies for the web viewer video. Inside of our SRC folder, inside app.js, uh, we actually not going to be placing any rectangle annotation. So go ahead and select uh, everything um, that is inside of the callback function that we pass into the web viewer, and we can delete it. Okay, great. And then for video, now uh, where I'm going to get this information uh, is actually inside of the NPM uh, description. We we'll also do have a guide on pdfcon.com if you navigate over to documentation web overview and then head to the video you can actually learn more about web your video um, and then kind of follow the guides that we have put together for you so now uh, we can actually import two commands uh, from the package we just have installed so let's go ahead and copy uh, this one right here and place it inside of our visual studio Great. And then we will also need um, path to the custom style CSS file that necessary for the video to render, as well as um, select annotation on creation to true. And then some of the disabled elements that are specifically um, are for kind of document uh, viewing and navigating, but it's not applicable to video. So let's go ahead and copy that and we can place it right here. Since we're no longer going to be opening up uh, PDFs, so let's go ahead and replace it here. Awesome. So as you can see, you will be actually able to reuse the uh, kind of the same web your annotation tools and capabilities just on the video. And then you're also going to get a consistent UI for your users as well. So this way, when a user is kind of going from PDFs uh, to images, uh, to MS Office documents, and then videos, kind of get the consistent uh, look and feel and do not have to relearn the new UI. Uh, copy this code right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy what we inserted uh, from NPM. Uh, there's one more thing that I like to do. Um, viewing videos is much nicer with the dark theme. So you can do the so by instant.set theme dark. So the next thing I want to do, I want to address uh, the style CSS file. Uh, so this uh, style CSS file is actually available from a fully ready to go sample like this, uh, which you can copy it and I'll show you where you can find it. So if you go back to the PDFtron's GitHub at github.com slash PDFtron 
and go to the WebGR video sample where we actually prepared a fully ready to go sample for you. Files are available uh, from the public folder of this video sample. And we can actually just kind of go ahead and uh, copy everything inside of it. It's only 32 lines. Okay, perfect. I'll create my own style CSS file um, instead of in, inside of the public directory. Now it's important to place it under public assets uh, just because we're referencing um, with a path uh, and those assets need to be statically served and public folder takes care of that for us. And then here inside of public, you know, any video of your choice, um, you know, for example, I'll just, I already have a video that I downloaded, uh, Banana MP4, and we can go ahead and just reference it so we have it under public and then files banana mp4. So let's go ahead and play it. Okay, so everything looks good to me. So just kind of a quick recap of what we did. Uh, we installed PDF from Web Your Video Package. Uh, then we replaced a couple of the options um, inside of the Web Your Constructor. Now we got rid of the initial doc property because we're no longer going to be loading PDFs. Uh, we added uh, styles needed for the web your video and we disabled some of the elements that are no longer applicable uh, to the videos as well. Now, as you can see that the web your constructor, it's actually exact same call, slightly different configuration, as well as a different way to initialize uh, the video. You are going to be placing web your inside of a component. My recommendation to make the video a separate component for your application. So have one component for web viewer that takes care of all the PDFs, MS Office, and images, and then have another component for web viewer video. So this way you can maintain those separately and upgrade them at uh, different intervals. And then you can also kind of call that. So if the user is trying to load a MP4, OGG, or WebM, uh, you just point them onto the route uh, where the component with web viewer video is uh, going to be mounted. And, you know, in event of PDF, MS, Office, or images, you're going to point them to a regular web viewer. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start our development server. So just go ahead and PM start, and it should go ahead and refresh uh, the page. Oh, oh okay, classic await in a sync. Uh, let's go back to the VS Code and see where it is. Uh, so this is happening on line 30. Okay, so we just got to add a, a sync keyword right here. Okay, save it. Let's double check that it compiled properly. Ah, it compiled successfully. So let's go back here and perfect. Our banana video loaded. So now I'm going to show you what we're able to do in here. So we're able to go ahead and play the video. Uh, we can also pause it. And maybe I want to go ahead and place my comment uh, on this uh, portion right here. Great. So this is a banana. Let's go ahead and save it. And uh, let's make sure that our comment is actually going to be applicable across multiple frames. To do so, I can use my arrow keys on the keyboard uh, to extend my comment, or I can actually grab those precision handles and kind of drag it myself manually here. And then one more thing that I wanted to show you, and um, specifically around review and approval, uh, so for example, I can say, hey, this is accepted, um, and this is how you can enable review and approval on videos um, inside of your React app. Thanks so much for watching.